What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about Mecha Naruto coming to the game. Now if you guys don't know, Mecha Naruto is going to be the April Fool's unit for um, Naruto Blazing this year. Now, if you remember last year, we got um, we got uh, the like fantasy Naruto, Sasuke, and Kakashi. So um, with this year, we're going to be getting Mecha Naruto. Now with that, there is a sprite sheet from um, like... Super Mecha Naruto, like the Nine Tails Mecha Naruto, um, and we also do have panels, right, for Mecha Naruto. Now, with these panels, um, obviously, I'm assuming that we're going to have like a short event um, over this, because if you guys remember last year, uh, on top of getting new characters, we had an event go on, right? And in the event, you would um, fight monsters and stuff or whatever. And then at the end, you fought like a, you fought like a fantasy Nine Tails, right? He had like this like fake Nine Tails thing on top of him or whatever. It was pretty funny. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, nothing crazy, just you know some little, you know, just something that you know do for April Fools or whatever the case. But um, yeah. So we are going to have a Mecha Naruto event with cutscenes and whatnot. Uh, obviously starting out when he came if you guys don't know where Mecha Naruto's from in uh, Naruto Revolution Mecha Naruto was like an original character from uh, Masashi Kishimoto and um, He was actually playable and stuff. It was pretty cool, but uh, yeah, so Mecha Naruto um, In the story he comes to the village. Well, he was like washed up on the beach Naruto and he not have found him and they brought him back to the village um, then eventually they started fighting, and then Mecha Naruto turned into like the Nine Tails Megazord, which is this right here. And then, um, you know, they were fighting. This is Ultimate, right? He uses like this super high caliber beam, right? Um, and then Naruto like defeats him, and like that's the end of it or whatever. Um, but yeah, now along with that, here's the end game sprite or whatever of. Excuse me. Here's the in-game sprite of Mecha Naruto. Here's like, Ant uh, big shout out to Anton. He tried to put together the Nine Tails as best he could, right? So um, that is what the Nine Tails looks like as best he could have recreated, or the Mecha Nine Tails or whatever. Um, right here, we're gonna go over there, his Jutsu. That's his first Jutsu. His first Jutsu. Um, I'll show you the hitbox after because they don't show you the hitbox on that one. But here's his ultimate right here. It's like the big cannon that I was talking about. And boom. So that's him. Uh, this is the hitbox for his first uh, jutsu. And then um, on top of all of that, if you guys remember, we got like these chests uh, for last year along with the event. And... Um, with that, they're going to be giving us... Where's it at? It's somewhere. Yeah, they're going to be giving us, like, Mecha uh, Mechanical Ramen, which is just going to... It's, it's, it's regular ramen, right? Don't get it wrong. But it's just, like, a funny way of putting it for April Fool's. So, there is also that. So, that's pretty much everything about Mecha Naruto that we have until now. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a summonable unit or a login bonus. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a login bonus, but I'm not entirely sure. So, um, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me you guys in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.